Welcome back to the third and final part of our AI Assistant series using Raspberry Pi. In the last two parts, we taught our Raspberry Pi how to listen and think, voice to text, and smart replies with ChatGPT. Pretty brainy for a tiny computer, huh? Now it's time to give our assistant a voice of its own. Yep, in this part, we're turning that smart text into actual speech. So your Raspberry Pi won't just think, it'll talk back too. And don't worry, this isn't some robotic, hello human kind of voice. We're using realistic text-to-speech tools to make it sound like your AI buddy actually passed English class. By the end of this video, your assistant will be able to chat with you just like a real voice assistant, but way cooler because you built it yourself. So how does our assistant actually speak? Well, we're using Microsoft's Azure text-to-speech service because honestly, it sounds way better than the average robot voice. I'll walk you through setting it all up step by step so there is no confusion. So let's start. First, let's set up our Azure service and get the credentials we'll need for our project. Just a quick setup before the real magic begins. Go to Azure portal and create a new account or log into an existing one. Next, you will need to verify your identity by a phone number and a card. Microsoft's provides sufficient free credits for our project, so you don't need to buy anything here. Now after the verification, go to Home and click on Create a Resource. Search Speech and select this option. Select the Azure subscription. Create a new resource group. Select your region. Enter a name for the service. Then finally, select the free use tier. Review and create.
Now go to Home and open our resource group. Open the service. Go to Keys and Endpoints. Click on Show Keys, then copy the first key and your region name. Save these credentials as we will be using them in the TTS code. Now you are ready for the next step. All right, now turn your attention to your Raspberry Pi screen. We were originally running everything in separate scripts, one for speech to text, one for chat GPT, and one for text to speech. But honestly, it got a bit confusing to manage. So we cleaned things up and combined everything into one single Python script. Now it's much simpler, easier to follow, and beginner friendly. Now create the new files with the same name as I do. Open the file and paste this code. As always, you'll find it in the comments. Don't forget to enter your ChatGPT and Azure API keys and Azure Service Region here in the code. You can change the name of your AI assistant by changing the trigger word and ChatGPT role. Now, save the code. Open Terminal, navigate to the project directory, create a virtual environment, and install some packages with the help of the following commands. All these commands will also be available in the comments. Then open a new terminal and create and open a bash file in the nano editor to make our Python script executable with all the necessary packages inside our virtual environment. But first, navigate to the project directory with this command. Paste this code in this bash file. You will find it in the comments. Carefully make sure that your project folder, virtual environment, and Python script are all named as their names are here in this code. 
save with Ctrl plus O, and exit with Ctrl plus X. Now, open cron tab and paste this line at the bottom. This line will be there in the comments as well. Save with Ctrl plus O and exit with Ctrl plus X. And just like that, your Raspberry Pi powered AI voice assistant is all set and ready to go. Now let's give it a real world test. Go ahead and reboot your Pi to see the magic in action. You can now remove the HDMI cable, mouse, and keyboard from the Raspberry Pi. Hello, Ben. Hello. How can I help you today? Hello, Ben. Who are you? Hello. I am Ben a smart and helpful voice assistant here to assist you with any questions or tasks you may have. How can I help you today? Hello Ben, who is Virat Kohli? Virat Kohli is an Indian cricketer widely regarded as one of the best batsmen in the world. He has achieved numerous records and accolades in international cricket and is known for his aggressive playing style and consistent performance. Hello Ben, who is the unbeaten UFC champion? The current unbeaten UFC champion is Khabib Nurmagomedov, who retired with a perfect record of 29 wins and 0 losses. Hello Ben, is an AI voice assistant with Raspberry Pi a good project? Hello? Yes, creating an AI voice assistant using a Raspberry Pi can be a fun and rewarding project. The Raspberry Pi is a versatile and affordable platform for building all kinds of projects, including voice assistants. If you have some programming skills and are interested in artificial intelligence and voice recognition technology, this could be a great project to undertake. Let me know if you need any help or guidance with your project. And there you have it your very own AI voice assistant built completely on a Raspberry Pi, up and running like a pro. If you followed along and made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back. If you found the series helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun and practical AI projects. Drop your questions or results in the comments, I'd love to see what you built.